Hello again my folks, Haircut here. Today I will be doing a review on Demon Slayer Volume 2 by Koyoharu Gotoge. This one picks up exactly where the first book ended with Tanjiro fighting the Hands Demon in the final selection. This one also introduces some more important side characters, and in this one we are introduced to the big bad of the series, Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan Kibutsuji. His name is hard to say. The meme is also he's Michael Jackson because of how he dresses. Pretty uh, smooth criminal-esque. We are also introduced to Tamayo and Ushido. They're two important characters. While you don't see much of them throughout the series, Tamayo especially is very important to the plot. She shows up, like, immediately after Tanjiro finds Muzan Kibasuji, and the reason why this isn't relevant at all is because he recognizes that it is the scent left behind at his house where his family was massacred. So, obviously, connect the dots, Kibasuji is the one that murdered his entire family. We learn that Tamayo is one, is a demon that Kibasuji has made, but she has managed to alter her body enough to where she doesn't need to eat flesh. She just... Yeah, she says that she pays people who are in need of money for their blood and that's all she really needs to sustain herself now. Same with Ushido. He doesn't need even need as much as she does. And she's a doctor. And she also is very like, nah, fuck Muzan Kibasuji. Tanjiro asks her, is there a way to turn Nezuko back? She says, not right now, but let's try to find a way to do so. This one starts obviously being a lot more action-oriented since kind of the base lore has already been established. Tanjiro gets sent on his first mission as a demon slayer. He encounters Muzan Kibasuji but is unable to pursue him and while hanging out with uh, Tamayo and Ushido discussing things, they get attacked. I think it's a good follow-up, obviously, to the first one. The first manga is always slower pace than things following after it because the whole purpose of it is to establish here is main characters, here is motivation, here is what the world is like that we're in. For some series it takes like two to three books to fully kind of set the tone or the world or whatever of the series. Demon Slayer does it pretty quick, Ob since second one we're obviously getting thrown right into action already. Yeah, I'm gonna say this one is probably an 8 out of 10. I like how gripping, I guess, the first one is. The demons in this one are meh, they're not really that interesting to me. We have the teeth grinding demon that I can't freaking stand in the anime, that noise is god awful. <laughs> I'm also just generally not really impressed with losing Kibasuji as the big baddie. He's not very interesting to me in general. So yeah, I think that's all I can really say about that one. Obviously, I'll be moving on to book three. Like, subscribe, and all that noise. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Later.